I've always been deeply opposed to crypto, Bitcoin, et cetera. You pointed out the only true use case for it is criminals, drug traffickers, anti-money laundering, tax avoidance, and that is a use case. Uh, because it is somewhat anonymous, not fully, and because you can move money instantaneously, and because it doesn't go through, as you mentioned, all these systems have built up over many years, know your customers, sanctions, OFAC, it's, they can get bypass all of that. I, if I was the government, I'd close it down. Okay. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is the bearable bull here. And I got this aggressively average content for you today. Day, as the ladies and gentlemen, you heard it out of the cat's mouth. Jamie Dimon, for the second bull run in a row, has flip flopped his positions, and it's amazing what just three weeks can make. As Anders Lumberg posted, I've always been deeply opposed to crypto, as stated by Jamie Dimon. And just yesterday, BlackRock has named JP Morgan as an authorized participant for a spot Bitcoin ETF. Three weeks after JP Morgan CEO says Bitcoin is for criminals, drug traffickers, and money launderers, in front of Congress, his firm is named an authorized participant for the BlackRock Bitcoin ETF. Do you see how they play the game? Have you deciphered the lizard talk yet? Because these reptilians are shameless. They're shameless and prideful. And they will milk every fucking penny you're worth if you let them. The opposite of everything they say is true. And here on this channel every single day we get to the bottom of what's going on. A Bitcoin ETF approval is likely at any given moment. It's likely going to happen next week or early the week after. January is going to be a special month for the crypto market. And oh my goodness. Oh my gracious. Too many people are asleep at the wheel. But not only did Jamie Dimon show his hand in regards to crypto... But Anthony Pompliano, a renowned Bitcoin maxi, is getting confronted by one of my favorite entrepreneurs in the entire world, Michael Arrington, who's known to be XRP Army and bullish on XRP. Michael Arrington asked Pompliano directly what his opinion about XRP is. And from the way that he asked, I bet behind closed doors, Pomp is more Bullish on XRP, then he leads on. You guys all really need a read between the lines. Because most of these influencers are bought and paid for. And they're not going to tell you the whole truth. And I think this clip is very telling. Do you secretly love XRP? <laughs> because again, in our private conversations, you talk about it very bullishly and how much you, you really have put most of your assets or intend to in it. And uh, I'm just wondering, you know, what your real view on XRP is. So should have never asked you this question. Let's you ask me this. Um. <laughs> well, I, look, you asked yesterday, like what you asked your audience on Twitter, like what we're we gonna talk about. And a lot of the XRP guys came out and they said they really want to talk about it. And they know my opinion on it. I'm in love with XRP. And I think it, it serves a very useful and important purpose. I just want you on the record saying what you think about XRP. So, I, I mean, Brad and I basically talked about it, but if you separate XRP and Ripple, Ripple has a software company that wants to build uh, better software for banks. No brainer, makes sense. Like yeah. venture capital bet. I'm jealous I didn't invest in Ripple in the seed round and make a bunch of money with all the venture capitals, right? So like that, yeah. that makes a ton of sense. Uh, the Ripple XRP relationship, very weird to me. I've been on record a million times in saying like, I don't know what that relationship is or was or whatever. That's not my job. Like it is what it is. And, and we are here today. Um, I think that XRP in a. Oh my God. There's a lot of hedging and hemming and hawing. No, 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 no. Hold on. XRP. Well, cause you know that uh, look, the XRP army. I look, I, uh, I nod my respect to them. They, they don't fuck around. So I'm not, uh, I'm not going to uh, mince words, but no, I, I think that XRP as a part of the Ripple product, meaning like they use it inside the product. I understand why they do that. And I see the advantages inside the Ripple ecosystem. What I don't understand, and I think where uh, I choose to not engage uh, on the XRP side 
is I don't understand why people are buying it, speculating on future price movements, right? Like to me, if Ripple is successful, that doesn't mean that XRP has to be successful. And I think you're that, talking about Bitcoin now. You're talking about Bitcoin now when you said speculate. <laughs> no, of course. Listen, I mean, look, way, none of us know, right? I mean, none of us know. Absolutely. You know. Listen, by the way, Bitcoin for sure, like I, I've said a million times, it is the most binary thing you could find. It is either going to be worth, you know, millions of dollars a coin or it's going to be worth basically nothing. Uh, what- now, ladies and gentlemen, the reason this is so important for every single one of you to realize is that behind closed doors, everyone and their mom is bullish on XRP. Just between you and me, I've had ears in the streets. I've had little birdies telling me things. And in regards to the XRP army, we've gained a lot of respect. Ripple in the crypto space has gained a lot of respect. People in crypto realize how bullish of a company Ripple is. How important their victory against the SEC was. And and how there's likely more under the hood of XRP than they initially realized. And while Pompliano wants to play it off as if he doesn't understand the relationship between XRP and Ripple. And he doesn't understand the use case of XRP. I bet you he has a fat stack of it. But isn't letting people know. Isn't it so interesting? And I guarantee you. After the XRP bull run of a lifetime, he'll come out the woodwork saying he had a nice little bag of XRP that he could profit off of. But his Bitcoin friends can't know he owns it. Now, isn't that right, Pomp? We understand that the news for the classes is that Bitcoin's price appreciation is already priced in. That's why Kathy Wood has been selling a lot of Bitcoin. But... At the exact same time, this XRP Bitcoin chart tells a real story. The XRP price relative to Bitcoin is near bottom out levels all time. And typically, this is where you buy. This is where you get your gains. There is no ROI left in Bitcoin for the most part. But there's plenty of juice in the tank left for XRP. And that's the point I want all of you to realize. That's what I want all of you to take home today. I am an aggressive, predatory altcoin investor. I love the ROI altcoins can get. And I believe especially this time around in this bull run, we are going to get much more ROI from hidden gen cryptos that 99% of people aren't privy to yet that are still suppressed and have ROI left relative to Bitcoin. And while XRP is a big one that I think will likely lead the 2024 bull market, there are numerous others that my community is up on already that we've discussed on my channel and in my OnlyFans at OnlyFans.com slash The Bearable Bull. And ladies and gentlemen, tonight, I will be getting to all the 25 people who have been DMing me. And there is an updated post with a crypto that is suppressed at the moment that is a great buying opportunity leading into this ETF approval. You guys don't want to miss these updates. You don't want to miss the ROI and knowledge. An ounce of prevention beats a pound of cure. And I cap off this video for today from Mr. Man XRP. This conversation was with Signum Bank, a Ripple partner, with the Global Digital Asset Banking Group, with 1,000 plus clients and 2 billion in assets under management, stating Bitcoin will not be the big performer in the next bull run as it once was. We don't think in the end there will be 21 million Bitcoins. We think there will be more. And a lot of interesting nuggets of information were revealed from this. Remember guys, be wary of how bullish everyone is on Bitcoin and this ETF. When the herd is doing one thing, it's likely wrong. I believe the true gains in 2024 will be in XRP.
And I believe every single person in the XRP army will be vindicated. Hold strong, my friends. One dollar is next. After that, new old time highs. And then we become the new 1%. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the bearable bull here. Thanks for tuning in. As always, I appreciate every single one of you. Now I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Um, still an effect. And then, I mean, in the long term, it could even get a negative, the happening, because in the end, it's the revenue for the, for the Bitcoin miners. And uh, if the revenues are cut in half, that's usually not so good for, for someone. And it was intended originally that the transaction, that the transaction fees of the Bitcoin protocol will compensate for that. But because Bitcoin is evolving into a store of value, only few transactions are made. And therefore, the, the collected transaction fees on the Bitcoin protocol are low. And uh, so we don't think that in the end we will have uh, 21 million Bitcoins. But we think it will be more. Um, and probably that is not a catastrophe, um, maybe only when it is published the first time, but I think uh, it will not be um, after this happening here. And uh, last but not least, uh, energy consumption, in our view, this is a problem for, for Bitcoin. It already uses twice the amount of whole Switzerland annual, annually. And uh, if you expect, for example, a tenfold in the next bull run, then uh, the energy consumption, the estimate would be around uh, the whole of Western Europe. And there will be a time when there will be a lot of pressure from, from uh, the regulators or the authorities, but uh, also from a reputational point of view, we think usually it's, these are the young ones that use the Bitcoins. And um, we know that the young ones get greener and greener because uh, they care about um, their future. So we think Bitcoin will not be the star performer from now on. And uh, we like smaller tokens for, for altcoins.